All right, everybody's encountered this problem at one time or another. A missing or a broken rivet on a pivot point of a piece of furniture that folds. Hang out and I'll show you how to fix it. Hey guys. All right, what we have here is six sections. It's a movable stage. Basically a bunch of short tables that uh, they move around and put in different places in the library when they have different events and functions. But anyway, what happens to this thing is these rivets that go through, they're actually a heavy duty solid rivet, but what happens, as is what happened here, that rivet just bends and eventually pops loose. So I'll show you how I fix them here. What I've been doing is just running a bolt down through it with a couple of washers and a washer in between the pivot point there. And then a washer here on the back side. And then I double nut it. Of course you can't cinch that down tight. You'll end up smashing everything and then this isn't going to move like it needs to. But what I've done this time is I got some grade 8 bolts and uh, three washers and actually I'm going to have to drill that out. See, so yeah, let me run down to the shop and grab my drill and I'll come back and show you how this is done. So anyway guys, what you're going to need to complete this repair, and this is the same repair that can be used on anything that, uh, anything that folds like this. Um, I've repaired these stages several times, obviously like the one I already showed you here. And uh, I've repaired table legs that are almost exactly like this. I've repaired uh, those lawn chairs, the folding chairs, anytime you have a rivet on one of those that breaks at a pivot point. Of course, I think all the rivets on those are pretty much a pivot point. But yeah, I use the exact same repair. And uh, what I do is obviously I start with a bolt, three washers, because you want a washer at the head of the bolt. You want a washer in between your points that pivot. And then you want a washer prior to your nut and what I'll do is I'll double nut them tighten those two nuts together uh, which is going to keep that nut from loosening up but I may not have room in which case I use one of these nylon insert lock nuts but anyway what I've done as you can tell this bolt here is just a hair bigger than the old rivet so I drilled it out with my trusty drill here. Yeah, speaking of these drills, guys, um, I don't know anybody that works with a drill. All of the new ones seem to be coming out with these lights on them here. Now my complaint about that light, and I don't care if you buy this $99 Ryobi or if you go out and spend four or five hundred dollars on a. a DeWalt or Rigid or Milwaukee or something like that. Any one of them that has this light, at least as far as I know, I don't think any of them have a separate switch for the light. But my gripe is that the only time that light lights up is when you're pulling the trigger. Well, what good does that do you? You know, I want the light to be able to see the screw before my bit is turning. Or I want the light to show me where I need to drill before the bit starts turning. But anyway, that was just uh, my two cents on that. But yeah, guys, be sure and wear safety glasses while you're doing this. Simply because um, you're not going to get like a, a one complete shaving even using the sharpest bits you're not going to get a shaving that all stays together because all you're doing is drilling out a hole that's already there so you're going to have little splinters and flakes and uh, chunks of metal flying off of that so yeah I'm a little uh, 
safety awareness there. Be sure and wear safety glasses doing this. But anyway, what you do once you've got that hole drilled out to where it's big enough for your bolt to go through. And you could probably get away, I think that head's big enough there, you could probably get away without this washer. But I always put it there just simply because it's going to, uh, you know, equalize the uh, pressure instead of all being in the one spot right there on that hole it's kind of gonna equal out the amount of pressure and uh, not squeeze that leg so hard and then of course obviously yeah this is gonna be a trick trying to do this one-handed see if I can get it here but yeah you obviously want a, a washer there in between these two points that pivot give it a little a uh, little less friction there make it uh, make it to where it pivots like it's supposed to hey there we go and yeah i'm not going to have enough room to double nut that there's not quite enough bolt sticking out so we're just going to put that nylon uh, lock nut on there and it should hold good enough i mean this thing doesn't pivot you know i don't think it's going to pivot hard enough to uh, loosen that nut but anyway, you tighten that sucker to where it's just snug. I mean, you don't want to pinch this together hard at all. Because, remember, this piece has to pivot. Which is why on this one, I did the double nut. That way it, uh, the two nuts lock together. Um, this one also has a nylon insert on it. Looks like maybe I had a little bit longer bolt on that one. I was able to actually double nut it. Now the trick to remember when you're do, using a double nut system is you want the nuts tightened together real tight to where they're not going to come loose and this whole thing can pivot like this one up here does. See I can spin that whole thing. But you got to be careful. You over tighten them double nuts and you can actually uh, pull the bolt apart right there. Um, these new bolts that I've got are actually grade 8. I went ahead and got the hardest ones I could get because that pivoting on that bolt I'm sure you know wears on it pretty good. So that one's probably you know wouldn't pull apart. But a regular old uh, hardware store bolt if you go to double nut and it too tight you will pull the bolt apart and snap it right there between the nuts. But anyway guys, let me tighten this up. I can't do it obviously one-handed holding the camera, but I'll get it tightened up and then show you where we are. And there we are, all done. And as you can see, this stage leg does just like it should. But anyway guys, like I said, that's a repair that can be used anywhere that needs a uh, pivot point or anywhere that has a, a rivet in it where it pivoted on the rivet and that rivet's broken out or whatever. Like I said, I've repaired several of those uh, folding lawn chairs and stuff at the house that have had rivets break or come out over the years. And uh, whenever I repair them like this, the repair seems to last longer than the original rivet. But anyway, there you go. And here's the whys and hows of the double nut. Now the reason you want to use a double nut is because you want, uh, you want a loose fitting bolt for whatever reason, such as a pivot point like I just showed. Or sometimes there's other reasons you want to leave a bolt loose. Uh, so you don't want, you don't want to just leave this nut loose, obviously it'll work itself off. So what you want to do is double nut it, which means you put two nuts on. In this case I've got two 7 16 inch nuts, so I've got two 7 16 inch wrenches. And what you do is you run them up together. The bottom one you're going to hold tight. 
the one that's closest to you, you're going to just tighten against that other nut. And again, like I mentioned before, if you do that too tight, you can split your bolt right there because it'll just too much force. It'll just pull that thing right apart. But if you get it just snug like I did right there, those nuts aren't going anywhere. But anyway, that's how you use a double nut system. That's what a double nut system is for. And that's how you do it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped somebody out. I hope you're now able to fix something that you couldn't before or didn't know how to fix before. And if you did, I appreciate you sharing this video with somebody else that may not know. And uh, again, I hope you all found this useful. Have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. Everybody's encountered this problem at one time or another. A missing or a broken rivet on a pivot point of a piece of furniture that folds. Hang out and I'll show you how to fix it. Hey guys. Alright, what we have here is six sections. It's a movable stage. Basically a bunch of short tables 